Yeah. The guy in the left side of the offensive line, like Jalen Duncan, and also he's an amazing monster. How have you guys had that like next man up mentality coming into next season? I mean, what ways can you see people filling in those roles? Because those are tough positions, obviously, to uh, match the production you guys have, especially on that left side with Duncan. That's right. So that is tough. And, um, we're going through the growing pains of it now. A good thing about it is the system that we run and uh, how we coach locks and sets it up here for us. Uh, we've done a good job of moving guys around. Good thing about it is that DJ Glee started several games for us, a left tackle, filled in sometimes left tackle uh, last year in the 2021 season. Uh, so he has the feel of playing both of them. And, uh, like I was telling someone earlier, uh, the good thing about it is all of our tackles have to play guards and all our guards have to be at least the ball. Uh, so it allows us to have some type of depth and some type of rhythm on there. But those guys are definitely good guys. And a little bit, I mean, I'm not sure how involved you'd be within the tight end game, but still a vital part of the line. Uh, Deitches last year, definitely a very talented, skilled guy at the receiver position, but a lot of people want to see more out of him in the blocking. How are you going to be keyed in on the development as a blocking tight end more than just a receiving guy? Well, one thing about it, I would say, is everyone knows his strength as far as receiving. Uh, as a blocker, he has done a really good job of A, putting on the way, B, gaining the strength. And you see he's always been uh, a willing blocker, put his face in there. He was just lacking the strength on the side, but he's done a really good job this offseason getting stronger, uh, knowing, knowing and doing a better job with landmarks and angles. So he's done a really good job as far as Right, uh, so Jalen Duncan has been projected as a uh, top pick in a lot of different spots and things like that. Um, what can you say about what you think he can provide at the next level for the NFL? I think he can provide athleticism. Uh, he has a really good knowledge of the game. A lot of people don't you know, see that or don't know it. Uh, his toughness has gotten, you know, he's gotten a lot better as far as toughness. Uh, he's just a really good athlete that has a lot of good football ahead of him. So uh, they're going to get a lot of good things out of him. Uh, like I said, he just, I'm looking forward to seeing what, what, what he does on the next level. And I know uh, Spencer and Jahari are also trying to land somewhere. Um, well, I guess if you could just touch on each of them. So uh, all those guys back, of course, now I've been talking to all of them. I'm going to miss them all dearly. They've all done a really good job. Like I said, we talked about the Duncan uh, situation with Spencer Anderson. Uh, I think the same thing, really smart, tough, has played every position on the line except left tackle. Uh, and that's because we had a really good left tackle that he really didn't need to. Uh, but he, wherever he goes, he's going to have, uh, they're going to get a person that has a lot of versatility, uh, really smart, uh, tough, athletic as well. Same thing with Jahar. He's played both guards uh, and center. Uh, and I think that's going to be his best position, probably center. So he's going to create a lot of value for himself. Uh, being the fact that you know, in the NFL you only dress seven or eight guys and he can play both guards and center. Uh, but I think his natural position would be center. Coach, 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 this spring as well, just talking about center, uh, you have Colton Deary, Eric Harris, obviously kind of battling out to, to take over for Jahari's spot. Um, what have you seen from them, and, and how big is uh, Colton not wrestling this winter help? It, it has, uh, well, first question, the, part, the first part of that question, um, they have definitely been battling out. Colton has done a really good job of understanding the offense, being a lot more comfortable with, uh, you know, being the leader of that group. And same thing with Eric. Like I told him, anyone who plays center has to have full command, just like a quarterback of the offensive line. And, you know, it's kind of hesitant. It's kind of, it's hard for a freshman coming out doing it early on, but he has, he has definitely done that, made good strides with it. Uh, but those guys will battle uh, for that position, for the starting position, and they'll battle for it daily. And we have you know, a good freshman that's coming in uh, this summer who, you know, if he comes in ready, he'll battle for it, that position as well. So, uh, like I told someone earlier, those positions are wide open and you're, you're battling for your position every day. So. Gotcha.